year, we had to realize that Europe is extremely dependent on fossil resources and that we do not necessarily have access to. Hello, my name is Karina Faber. I am one of 10 program managers working on the EU's flagship innovation program, the European Innovation Council. As program managers, our aim is to resolve specific societal issues by technological means. I am the program manager for renewable energy conversion technologies and alternative resource exploitation. My vision is a renewable driven circular economy by 2050. What inspires me in my daily work is really the idea of a circular EU economy, driven solely by renewable energy sources. Currently, we deplete our fossil resources to satisfy our daily needs for energy and for goods. This increases the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and, as said, makes us dependent on fossil fuel rich countries. There are different ways to achieve a climate neutral Europe in 2050. Not a single solution, but many, many approaches complementing each other exist. So, for example, imagine using our resources in a responsible manner with waste as a raw material. Or we avoid wasting energy by increasing the energy efficiency of our houses and industrial processes. We can also use renewable electricity, such as electricity from wind or from solar to charge our car batteries. But this is not always possible, as in the case of very energy-heavy industries or cross-continental um, plane travel. Here, renewable fuels and chemicals made from abundantly available resources may play an important role. So, what about producing energy and products locally, with the available resources we have here? Nature does this every day by turning CO2, water and sunlight into sugar molecules. This process, we call it natural photosynthesis. Hmm. So why not mimic this process? So-called artificial photosynthesis technologies use local raw materials. Again, CO2, water and renewable energy as ingredients to produce alternative fuels and chemical products. This way, you turn CO2 from a pollutant into a valuable resource. So what technologies are available to do so? At the EIC, we follow a portfolio of mature and also developing technologies, both cases inspired by photosynthesis. Mature technologies are those which use renewable electricity as an input. The products are so-called e-fuels or e-molecules. These technologies have to prove and improve their performance in real industrial environments through pilot demonstration and upscaling. Still developing is solar fuel technologies, which are like photovoltaic panels producing a liquid or a gas. As this technology matures, it will have the potential to positively interrupt or disrupt our current energy systems with energy and goods produced on a local scale with the resources we have and also adapted to our local needs. So how do we enable innovation for these technologies? The field of renewable fuels and chemicals is an emerging domain with a broad range of technologies. And all these technologies show different maturities and different unique selling points. In order to create a real impact and to ensure technologies which fit with our societal needs, physicists, biologists, chemists and engineers must collaborate as well as industrial decision makers and policy makers and this at the earliest possible stage. Our final goal is to develop a technology which is scalable to the global needs, economically feasible and sustainable. It is crucial not to lose focus and to concentrate on the most impactful pathways. And of course, to attract potentially game-changing researchers and innovators to the EIC. Can your organization support this mission then come join us on this exciting journey. Only together we can make a difference and turn these dreams into reality.